Yeah, also from my side, um, very welcome. And what I mentioned before, it's a really impressive booth, and I'm proud to be here. And um, today I want to show and I want to dis uh, want to um, um, yeah demonstrate a bit about um, analytics on edge and uh, how it comes. And uh, before we will go into more the detail. Um, just the reason or some reasons why do we need to move on edge and uh, what is the difference and what is what is the demand for that and looking on the on the left hand side of the slide you can see there are bigger data everywhere we, you can you will have a look you have bigger data it, even if it is velocity the volume or it is the variety and on the other side um, everybody is expecting that you can act faster, that you can have decisions faster, smarter, uh, even the fact that a lot of data coming in and you need to analyze on the other side. Um, and therefore, uh, on the other side, we wanted to have a low latency. It doesn't make sense that you have a lot of data coming in and it, it takes you one day or half a day to analyze those data, then the decision is nothing worth. So this is, the, in, in principle, this is the the biggest need we have at times like that, so that we need to analyze most of the um, data we are producing on edge. And we can see later on some examples where we can uh, understand why it is important. SAS Analytics is now integrated with MindSphere. That's a good message, because now we can have MindSphere with a fully blown um, analytics uh, inside and uh, this is an extremely powerful um, what I mentioned before we need to have a low latency on one side we need to have an easy access easy use of analytics SAS is producing only analytics and this is what we are doing since 40 years so this is our own only thing where we are still concentrating on and therefore you have at the end as a result what is important is a small footprint it doesn't make sense to have that you need um, <clears throat> big equipment or uh, compute power uh, on edge. You need to go down. You need to have a, you need to have a, um, yeah, a very small solution outside. And therefore, also using all the all the um, important things from Rhinesphere, meaning on one side having full access to everything what is featuring, including uh, the secure data management from Rhinesphere, and also easy plug and play. It's important because you as a customer from MindSphere, you don't want to uh, make, uh, see complicated solution. It is easy to use, easy to step in, and easy to, yeah, um, to, to use it itself. So where do we care about? And I think this is, in, uh, with IoT, it is important. On one side, we have the big data. We have uh, all the sensors um, <clears throat> which are producing the data. Analytic is there that you understand all the data which you are producing. Um, and uh, if you understand the data, you can start to act, you can make decisions on top of it. And uh, this is where we, where we are about. And on one side, having big data coming in, on the other side, we need to create, <clears throat> we need to create, and you need to create value on top of it. Otherwise, it makes no sense that you have decisions in place which are not even uh, uh, leading you to some smarter decisions. And on the other side also, there are new business models coming across. Uh, thinking about all uh, the services contracts you probably uh, have to, uh, to close in the next future if you have smart assets outside and you need, to, uh, you need to make a service contract with your customers. You need to know, you need to understand what is your asset about and how does it behave in the market. I would like also to uh, explain a little bit, <clears throat> so how does it work? And uh, I think this makes the main difference. On one side, uh, we can see on the top uh, left-hand side, these are the data we have stored, the data on REST, which are coming in, um, in the data storage. On the other side, in addition to that, we now have the streaming data coming from all your machines, coming from the sensor, which, uh, which we have uh, outside in the field or on shop floor. Now, SAS event stream processing is combining all those information, not only the streaming data, also the data on REST, because what you have, you want to collect your experience and you want to build um, intelligent models and put them, you put them directly into the stream. And now you can process the data. And while the data are flowing, you are analyzing the data 
And then you can uh, see, do we have some events inside the data? Are there alerts? Um, and then you can learn out of it. You can build the models on the fly. If you have no uh, new models, put them back again into the stream. And this is uh, with the uh, easy deployment. It is, it is very quick. So the moment you have built a new model, um, you can put it on REST, or you can put it in the, in uh, inside the stream once again. That is the logic <coughs> behind. And um, <coughs> there you can apply everything, what comes, what is in the data. <coughs> you can analyze everything. And you have what mentioned before, you have a really a low latency, and you can um, react very quickly. So once again, what this streaming analytics about, and uh, here we can see it. On one side, fast, it is agile. You can, you can uh, react very quickly. You have um, the lightweight embedded directly on, the, uh, on edge. Um, and um, on the other side, you are flexible. You can build the models, um, and you can uh, directly load them and uh, deploy them down uh, on the edge at the end. <coughs> and it's enterprise class. Um, it is um, seamless integrated um, with the existing infrastructure, IT infrastructure, and I think this is important. You don't need to invest in um, additional or specific, uh, uh, special um, interface or IT infrastructure. And I mentioned before, small footprint is all about. We, do, we only need one core to put our, our complex analytics um, on our edge. And uh, for example, here, Edge could be a Nano, Nano Connect could also be Mind Connect. Uh, this is where we are still running on. And uh, we support all those. Uh, we have also um, a good um, uh, partner ecosystem in place. We are still have a, a common development partnership with Intel and with Cisco so that we can run from the Edge until the cloud so it's smooth. It is. There is, there is no, there are no borders between uh, everything. What is between, even if it's the cluster, where you can run uh, analytics on edge. What does it mean, analytics on edge? And here, I just want you want to highlight some of those examples. Um, in stream analytics, is meaning you you can uh, you can uh, go here, you can analyze the data coming from the machine itself. Uh, you can also run um, in-stream geofencing. Let me just only pick up this example only. Sometimes you have moving assets inside the factory on shop floor. You want to analyze, are they, are, are they really on track? Where do they are? And this is something which you can do in, in real time. And when I'm talking about real time, we are talking about milliseconds where we have decisions in place. And this is important because speed is all about also outside the factory shop floor. Um, let me show a um, case, one example. I think this is um, most of the time, it's, uh, every time it's important to see where it is running. What you can see here is an, um, it is an, a diaper uh, manufacturer. And uh, they have started um, yeah, to analyze their uh, production quality. And um, they called us and said, OK, we do have a problem outside because the quality of the diapers are not that good anymore. We need to analyze where it comes from. And therefore, what you can see here is a machine they are producing 1,000 diaper in a minute. So it means in a second it is a package like that. And um, if you have a problem there, uh, you need to decide very quickly. So um, and um, looking at, um, at uh, those complex machines, uh, we we just started to have an. Um, yeah, put, take the data on REST they already collected, and we start to build a model on that. The problem they had was that um, the mothers don't buy the diapers anymore because the babies had, had more or less a red skin. Um, and this was because of a problem uh, where they have produced the diaper itself. So at the end of the day, we found out wh what is the reason for that. And we put it in place. We put the model in place. We analyzed the data while the machine was running. And now they have a better quality in place. But that's not all. Because now we want to have also ESP, uh, the streaming on edge on the machine itself. 
because if you want to see what is the problem outside, you want to act very quickly. And therefore, we are now able to learn within the stream what is the quality of the production itself and also to decide and have also an upfront idea of when the machine will go down. And in this example, we were ready to... Um, yeah, we, we can see when we have uh, quality problems 20 minutes before it occurs, and you can, ex and you can imagine in 20 minutes you are producing 20,000 diapers. They are not waste. And this is what we have achieved with that machine. I think it's very impressive. So, coming to my last slide, um, just only want to... Um, want to highlight what is streaming analytics um, um, in total. On one side, you have multi-phase analytics, which you can run in stream, out of stream, in edge. What does it mean? You have the same analytics, you have the same models, whether you run it on the, on the edge itself, on the, on the small footprint, or you run it in the data storage, um, or you run it in the cloud. It's all the same, what you can use here. On the other side, um, you can reduce the time for better decisions very quick because you are running in real time. There is no um, time shift uh, and you have a very low latency and we are talking about milliseconds to decide. And uh, at the end of the day, we do have the open APIs. Uh, we do have the open source model to support. If you have an open source model, we don't care. We can run your model inside the stream and we can also have uh, the governments for that model. And this, I think, is uh, the most important part uh, if you just only use what you have already existing there and you can run it on Edge. Yeah, that was my last slide. Thank you very much.